Now the C seven I selected had no five. There was a one, a three, a flat seven, and an octave that is one. But there has to be a five in the in the, the C seventh chord. Probably the C seventh chord is the one, the three, the five, and the flat seven. Good. So if I replace that five with this one, it is the same as the C seventh chord, right? So I have this and I have that. That is same. That is how. I have your next your next chord is good. Now I'll take I'll take this as D minor seventh. So D minor seventh. I have let's say um um D minor seventh. I have a D right. Good. And I have an A and I have a C. Good. A D, an A, and a C. A D on the fourth string, an A on the third string, and C on the second string. So that is now. Simultaneously, as this chord is, is being played, your bass note is on A. So I had that bass is okay. You have now your next part is which comprises of the D minor seventh chord over an A, right? So, so as you, you approach it, the C seventh chord. You have the same thing. The same thing for the right hand technique. So you have for the C seventh. Now D minor seventh. You have. So you have. And I have 
um, I have a, let's see, let's see, I have G, I have G, so I have, So this is how it's played. You play the octave first, then the J on the third string and E on the sixth string. They are played together. So you have Mm -hmm. 
D minor over F. Now the D minor, the notes are the flat three, the five, and the one for the D minor. And the mm. F on the sixth string. That is the full chord. But you take the D and the F out first. So you have This one is going to be a D7 chord. It's a D7 chord. I think I made, I made a mistake. I said it was a D minor 7. It's a D, actually, it's a D dominant 7 chord. Good. So this one is a D, D7 chord. Over F sharp. So this is how you play. Index, middle, thumb, and the ring finger. So. Good. 
Now the second baseline. The second baseline. Now you realize when you got here, it was like this. So you have in the second baseline, you don't have to come to G. You just stay there. So Good. So instead of the second bass, now you stay there. Instead of and you have now let's continue. In the second bass line, in the first bass line, you have good. In the second bass line, you have the same thing. So the difference is just staying there. In the first one, you moved up. In the second one, you just have to stay there. So the first one is like the second one is like. Then you continue from there. Probably the video might be a little faster. So if you think you don't get anything right, just go back, reverse it. Try as much as possible to get all the techniques first before you move further. Now, you just have to concentrate because some things are not yet there. We've not practiced concentrations and stuff like that. So it takes it takes time. And I, I, I wish you well, you know, we are just trying as much as possible to, to um, um, make that a problem, forget the heritage. So we have a to our factories and we are very proud to have it. I want you to go forward for other videos, and um, probably other local videos, how I'll be doing praises, I'll, I'll be doing local praises, how to play local worship and other things like that. So you just have to subscribe to my channel and then. I will put for other videos. Let's go for the best thing. I wish you. Thank you.